good morning i am devi sena in this lecture we are going to discuss about the topic of mobile tcp that is under that classical tcp improvements topic this topic is present in the subject wireless networks classical tcp improvements that is mobile tcp topic both ITCP that is indirect TCP and snooping TCP does not help much if a mobile host gets disconnected. The mobile TCP that is MTCP approaches has the same goals as ITCP and snooping TCP. To prevent the sender window from shrinking if bit errors or disconnection but not congestion cause current problems mtcp wants to improve overall throughput to lower the delay to maintain end to end semantics of tcp and to provide a more efficient handover additionally mtcp is especially adapted to the problems arising from lengthy or frequency disconnections mtcp splits the tcp connection into two parts as itcp does mobile tcp that is mtcp representation is shown below here is a representation of mobile tcp diagram here we are having standard host at one end and mobile host at other end in between that standard host and mobile host we are having supervisory host the supervisory host is having a bridge between the mobile host as well as the standard host so standard host and supervisory host creates an unmodified tcp path while mobile host and supervisory host creates an optimized tcp path this is represented in this mobile tcp diagram an unmodified tcp is used on the standard host supervisory host that is sh connection while an optimized tcp is used on sh mh connection the sh monitors all packets sent to the mh and ack is returned from the mh if the sh does not receive an acknowledgement for some time it assumes that the mh that is the mobile host is disconnected it then chokes the sender by setting the sender's window size to 0 setting the window size to 0 forces the sender to go into the persistent mode that is the state of the sender will not change no matter how long the receiver is disconnected this means that the sender will not try to retransmit data as soon as the sh that is supervisory host either the old sh or a new sh detects connectivity again it reopens the window of the sender to the old value the sender can continue sending at full speed this mechanism does not require changes to the sender's tcp the wireless side uses an adapter tcp can recover from the packet loss much faster thus mtcp needs a bandwidth manager to implement fair sharing over wireless link this is the indirect tcp analogy this is the representation of indirect tcp the indirect tcp is having two parts one is a standard tcp part and the another one is a wireless tcp part this indirect tcp is 
the basic part in the transmission control protocol. The function of this indirect TCP is analogous to the 1G 2G networks. This 1G 2G networks are basics in the wireless networks generations. We know that the 1G 2G networks is having a limited speed that is 1G is having 2.4 kbps speed and 2G is having 64 kbps and the behavior of 1G and 2G are less when compared to the latest 4G or 5G networks. So this 1G 2G networks is analogous to the indirect TCP that is present in the classical TCP improvements. We see the snooping TCP analogy. This is the representation of the snooping TCP. In this snooping TCP, the end-to-end -end TCP connection is created between the mobile host as well as the correspondent host. A single end-to-end -end TCP connection is created here. The function of this snooping TCP is analogous to the 3G wireless networks. We know that in the wireless networks, 3G networks is having better speeds when compared to 1G and 2G networks. The speed of the 3G is 2000 kbps, that is 2 mbps. The function of 3G networks is analogous to the snooping TCP in classical TCP enhancements. Now we see the mobile TCP analogy. This is the representation of the mobile TCP. In the mobile TCP, we are having end-to-end -end TCP connection in one end mobile host is present and in another end standard host is present in between that mobile host and the standard host we are having supervisory host here between the supervisory host and the standard host we have unmodified tcp part and between the mobile host and the supervisory host we have the optimized tcp part the performance of mobile TCP is better when compared to the indirect TCP as well as the snooping TCP. Now, this mobile TCP is analogous to the 4G networks in the wireless networks. We know that the 4G network is having better futures when compared to the 1G network, 2G network and 3G wireless networks so we can easily compare the analogy between the mobile tcp and 4g wireless networks advantages of mobile tcp that is mtcp it maintains the tcp end-to-end -end semantics the supervisory host sh does not send any ack itself but forwards the ACKs from the MH, that is the mobile host. If the MH is disconnected, it avoids useless retransmission, slow starts or breaking connections by simply shrinking the sender's window to zero. As no buffering is done as in ITCP, there is no need to forward to a new SH. Lost packets will be automatically retransmitted to the SH, that is supervisory host. Disadvantages of MTCP As the supervisory host SH does not act as proxy as in ITCP, packet loss on the wireless link due to bit errors is propagated to the sender. MTCP assumes low bit error rates which is not always a valid assumption. Representation of ITCP, snooping TCP, MTCP. 
this is the representation of ITCP that is the indirect TCP here we have mobile host at one end and a correspondent host at another end in between that we have the access point that is the foreign agent the entire setup is split into two TCP connections one is the standard TCP connection between the access point and the correspondent node and the another is a wireless TCP connection between the mobile host and the access point this is represented in indirect TCP now the representation of the snooping TCP is shown below that is one at one end mobile host is available at the other end correspondent host is available in between that mobile host and the correspondent host foreign agent is present here in snooping TCP end-to-end -end TCP is maintained that is a single TCP connection is created between the mobile host as well as the correspondent host this is represented in snooping TCP and we have the mobile TCP representation in this mobile TCP representation at one end mobile host is available at another end the standard host is available in between that mobile host and the standard host supervisory host is available here we have unmodified TCP part is created between supervisory host and the standard host similarly optimized TCP part is created between mobile host and supervisory host but in mobile TCP a single end-to-end -end TCP connection is created as shown in this diagram let us discuss the next topic in the classical TCP enhancements is selective retransmission a very useful extension of TCP is the use of selective retransmission TCP acknowledgments are cumulative that is they acknowledge in order receipt of packets up to a certain packet a single acknowledgement confirms reception of all packets up to a certain packet if a single packet is lost the sender has to retransmit everything starting from the lost packet that is go back and retransmission this obviously waste bandwidth not just in the case of a mobile network but any network using selective retransmission TCP can indirectly request a selective retransmission of packets the receiver can acknowledge single packets not only trains of in sequence packets the sender can now determine precisely which packet is needed and can retransmit it advantages of selective retransmission a sender retransmits only the lost packets this lowers the bandwidth requirements and is extremely helpful in slow wireless links disadvantages of selective retransmission a more complex software on the receiver is needed more buffer space is needed to re-sequencing data and to wait for gaps to be filled thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means you can share this video to your friends.